Today I want to talk about the popularity of plants. We're seeing a lot of foliages that are used in floral designs, but we're also seeing a lot of influence of plant materials in plants in containers and pots in people's homes. And this influence is a popular one. A lot of it is about bringing the environment into our homes, the eco-friendly part of this, the happiness that plants bring to our lives, and just in general, just a good positive attitude that's been given out. Another trend that we're seeing with this though is the textures. We've seen the influence of succulents and cactus throughout this whole trend. And that popularity, a lot of that is driven just by the use of textures. Textures within fashion, textures within floral design, textures within interiors. We're seeing all of these um, just influences of tactile interest that has brought us to this point. Cactus and succulents influence has been around for quite a while. We've seen it for many years and it's gonna continue just because of the ease and the, just the fun of having all these different types of plants. Along with having plants in your environment, we're seeing the trend again, this is kind of a retro 70s thing, that we're seeing cactus gardens that are done with sand sculpture. And I wanted to kind of show you how this is done. Some, it can be easy, it can be very intricate too if you wanted it to be doesn't have to be quite like that. The trick to it is, is that of course using a glass container, you have to have something that's glass so you can see the design that you're creating. But you have to start with the smallest products first. And you have to think in your mind, okay, what textures do I want to do? What color influence do I want to have? And what interest do I want to bring into the container? It's just like designing. You have to think through that whole process and making it look like it's really kind of interesting and that people are attracted to that. So what I've got in the bottom of my glass bowl right now is just some sand. So you want to take your sand and press it all around to the outside edge so it's nice and firm and that makes it easier to sculpt with. So if you don't think you have enough, you can add some more to this. So I'm just going to put a little bit more in here and just press that all the way around so that I can use that for my designing. Then I'm gonna add some color to it. So I wanna add a little bit of color influence. I've got some beautiful turquoise sand that I wanna add all the way around. And you, one of my, my most special tool that I use is a chopstick, and I think that that has the most influence. But as you can see, if I take and add my sand, I'm gonna use one of my little tools just to brush it up. This happens to be a terrarium tool, this is a brush from Syndicate Sales, you can see that they come in all, this is really fun, really fun miniatures that you can use. But it gives you the ability then to create your little sculptures just by pushing that sand up and then pushing it down. And you can create some great design and it pulls that color all the way down into just that natural sand and gives me a color influence. And you wanna do that all the way around. I'm gonna add another color to this also. Here I've got some silver along with the turquoise and just keep, continue to do that same kind of thing. And what that does is it gives me interest and it gives me definition and I can create that design all the way around. So you can see that I've got some great patterns. So if I add that all the way around and then you can just push that up if you want to, just to give it some fun design. This is the point where we wanna add our cactus and we just want to Push this to the side a little bit. Here I have an old man of the Andes, and I just use some regular kitchen tongs to work with him. And you really want to just gently take him out of the pot and leave all of the soil intact. If you have enough room, if you want to just maybe take a little bit off the bottom, you can just to kind of just squeeze that and loosen that up a little bit. And then you take it and you place it into your sand. Now you want to just kind of work him down in there and don't worry that if you get some dirt into that area it's okay because we're going to cover that up because we're going to add a little bit of pea gravel to this and I'm just going to start. Now if you want to use a funnel you can. You can create funnels out of paper if you need to. I am just going to grab a hold of him and just pour some pea gravel in all the way around him just to give him support. So it has its original dirt and that's the that's that's the what you want to obtain. You want to make sure that it's got a good dirt source to this. And 
just use some of this pea gravel all the way around again using your chopstick or any tools that you have just to kind of push that down and just to create that interest so that we've got that definition and if a little bit of dirt shows that's okay it can do that there's no problem with that i want to add a little bit more detail here i just have some clay beads that i want to add to the top using something that doesn't dissolve when you water it is fine just to add some texture and some detail to this and you just keep adding layering. Yeah, that's a little bit larger ones that I'll put on the top. So working your way from the smaller ones to the larger things to the top. It could be all different types of rocks and colors and gems and whatever you want to do just to create that interest. Add a few more on here. And you can see that you can create a fun, interesting looking design in a glass container with your cactus. I have some, uh, other fun cactus that I want to show you and talk about a little bit that I've got a golden barrel. This one is our golden ball cactus. This is really kind of fun because this is a native of um, Brazil, Paraguay, South America. We get a lot of the cactus are originally from South America, Mexico, Central America. But what I love about this golden ball is that the thorns or the spines on it are soft and so they're not going to stick you. So this is really kind of a nice one to have or to sell even to um, people that have kids that you don't want to worry about. Now, if you go to something like the prickly pear snow, this is native to Mexico. This one definitely has the thorns to it. Or you can go to succulents. Here I have an echeveria. Echeverias, there's hundreds of varieties of echeverias. This is a xanth rose, and this is from Central America, Mexico, all the way down to South America. But the echeverias are just a beautiful coloring. Succulent, again, that's very popular, colanchos. So we see those all over the place and that gives you that bright coloring. But the one from on the end, this one is a, a silver coral succulent, and this is from South Africa. And what's really fun about this is it has looks like it has little cobwebs on the very end of it, but that silver color, but the textures is what I want to point out. It's so interesting, it's so fun, and you too can create your own little sand art for your cactus and succulent gardens.